frugal daddy just told me to sneak up on the dumpster. Don't let it see me coming. Okay. We've got some cantaloupe. Some of them aren't looking so good, but I bet some of them are okay. Got some flowers down there. I think we might be able to pull a few good things out of here. This, of course, is the Aldi dumpster. Some of these cantaloupes look better than others. Just squeeze them. It doesn't matter if, they're, if there's mildew on the outside. It's from the weather. If they're firm. That one's firm. It doesn't matter. Yeah. We need a good box. This container of eggs seems a little bit smooshed. Oh, yeah. See, it has some spots on the outside that don't look great, but it's firm. So we'll see when we get it home and cut it open. Are you going in? I don't know yet. You love going in. Can you grab a box out? Oh my gosh, these tomatoes look beautiful. And I was just thinking yesterday how much I would love a fabulous tomato sandwich. And today I'm gonna get one. Yeah. Nice. This is what I went in for. We have a bunch of cucumbers in there that look pretty good. Please let's not go for the melted ice cream. Just for fun? Wanna refreeze it, see what happens? No. Awesome, love beverages. Grab a bouquet. The truck coming, I don't know if it's coming here. All right, we got a truck coming. Might be a problem. Do you want the bags with the egg on it or no? Yeah, we can wash the egg off. It's good apples. A lot of apples. There's a Portable pet playpen in that box down what? there. Portable pet, yeah, that. Come on, we gotta go. All righty, back from the Aldi dumpster. Let's see what we found. We got several bags of nectarines and peaches. Four bags of apples, mandarin oranges, mini peppers, three nice bouquets of flowers, some cantaloupes, some limes, grapes, a bag of avocados, three cucumbers, all of these tomatoes, a few bananas, the pizza, and some chicken breast strips. Personally, I would take a pass on the pizza and the chicken breast strips. But that's Frugal Daddy's call. If he wants to eat them, that's up to him. We also got these two black cherry sparkling waters. And let's not forget the dog playpen. Trying those chicken strips. They weren't even cold, were they? They might have been. I think that they're so highly processed, you're thinking they're okay. But I'm going to say no. And he's going to eat them anyway.
What are you doing? Did you eat it? Did you taste it? Don't no. Well, now you did. Flash wants some chicken strips. What meat do you think they use for this? What kind of meat do they use for the chicken strips? I was hoping chicken. Well, I know, but where? What part of the chicken's body? Yeah, like the part with the... Oh my God, the smell of it just hit me. Not that it smells spoiled, it's just spicy. It smells really spicy. Um, I don't know, the chicken's butt? And ankles? What's it taste like? Chicken butt? Chicken butt and ankles. Well, there you go. That's and right. Beak. Ground up beak. I might have to throw it on my pizza for lunch. Oh, yum, yum. Are you finished with this beauty? You can take your pizza. Oh, look, it's got some salad. Basil. <laughs> it's got the basil on it. Are you just thinking all the ingredients of this are so highly processed mm -hmm. that, again, you don't care that this wasn't cold either? Processed meats and... I mean, there's no mold on the cheese. It's just cooked thoroughly. I'm going to cook thoroughly. It also says keep refrigerated. Cook thoroughly. <laughs> cook thoroughly. Yeah, nice. 15 to 18 minutes. Okay. Unless you leave it out all day. In a dumpster. 28 minutes. Yeah. You have spicy chicken butt. Breath? Breath now, yeah. Don't. Ay, stop it. And we got the portable pet playpen. Let's check that out. The zipper inside that needs to be zipped or a zipper on the outside that needs to be zipped how do I do this okay how do we make it stay up there you go I guess that was how you make it stay up wait now I'm confused how do you get in oh here's the door all righty that playpen, there you go. Come here, Flash. Uh, come here. Come try the playpen. Come here. Come here, buddy Boodle Doodle. Hi. What could I have for you? Darman, do you want to try the playpen? Who wants to get in the playpen? Who wants to get in there? Go in there. Go in the playpen. Oh, I have it upside down. That's why he doesn't want to go in. Come back. Somebody come back. Hey, it's just your size. Get in. Get in. Oh, look who's in the pet playpen. Look who's in the pet playpen. Yeah, Dom is in the pet playpen. Oh, now you want to go in. Now you want to go in, don't Dom you? Dom is in the pet playpen. Oh, Neve's going to love that. Oh, are you yawning? It's time for a nap. Who's inside the pet playpen? She's not that bright. She doesn't know how to get out. Dharma, the, uh, the door's over here. Dharma, what are you doing? The door's over here. There you go. That's the pet playpen. Just in case you're wondering what size dog fits in the little doggy playpen, it's the frugal mommy size dog. It was fun getting in here. I could use a little more headroom. It's super cozy. Well, thanks for watching, frugal friends and dumpster diving enthusiasts. This was a pretty fun and exciting haul today. We were low on fresh fruits and veggies in the house, so we really needed this stuff. I'm super psyched about the tomatoes. I'm going to go make a tomato sandwich right now. If you haven't already subscribed, feel free to hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell, give us a thumbs up, leave your comments below, share on social media, and follow us at Freakin' Frugal Dumpster Diving on Instagram. Woohoo! See you next time. Bye. How do I get out? Daddy, I'm stuck. Tell the kids, don't get in unless you know how to get out. Ta-da! Yeah, you can zipper it up. I would be irritated if I was in there and you zippered me in, though. So I know, but the that. cats would like it.